everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Amari J and today I'm back with another video okay so I'm very excited about today's video I'm going to be going into the kind of like the specifics between private, public, and online nursing programs. And I'm also going to be telling you all of the nursing programs in my area, Central Florida, or the Orlando, Florida area. Um, I've done extensive, extensive research because I was recently in the um, time frame of applying to nursing school and I just needed to know what all my options were and weigh them all out and see what would work best for me so I had the best chance of getting into a program. So I'm not going to talk too much and I hope this video isn't super long but we're just going to get right into it and I have my notes so let's get it. I'm going to start with public institutions, public schools um, in my area that um, offer your nursing degree um overall a public university is going to be a lot cheaper than a private you know or a private college or private university um it's going to be like your normal local state school or your neighborhood college it's going to be accessible to you um financial aid all of that stuff so when you think public university just think the normal college experience you know going off to school moving into dorms or going to community college those are public universities um and in my area there are three public universities or state colleges that are accessible to you if you want to be a nursing major and those are university of central florida seminole state college and valencia college so um at the end of this video i'm going to go through and tell you guys all of the pass rates and why that's important to look at when you are applying to nursing school and that way you can see the differences between these schools along we'll um, we're going to get into private universities so private colleges or universities or institutions they are usually for profit unlike public they're for profit usually and they are very expensive very expensive um, some of them you have to be very careful about and do a lot of research to make sure that they are exactly what they say they are and make sure that they are accredited and they will get you that degree and proper training. Um, some people call them, I think they're like money mills or whatever. As long as you do your research and you make sure the school is accredited, you should be completely fine going to a private college. If that's what you have to do, if that is what is easier for you, that's what you can do. And most times private colleges, people say they're easier to get into, which I wouldn't say easier, but more like they're accessible to everyone because most public colleges or universities, you have to apply and wait a couple months to see if you get in and you have to stress out and do all this other stuff. Um, so private colleges usually make it more accessible for everyone to be able to attend their school. So with that being said, they usually have a cutoff range for your, like your HESI or your T's. And as long as you get that cutoff range and the necessary GPA, they will accept you into their program. Now, with that being said, just because they will accept you into your program if you meet that minimum standard, doesn't mean you're going to stay in that program. They also have rigorous, um, rigorous what is the word criteria once you're in the program that you have to meet in order to stay in the program so most of these schools they do require you to have at least a 78 percent or something along 80 percent in all your classes in order to move on in the program and if you don't do that they will dismiss you and the reason why that's important is because if schools don't hold you to a high standard they will lose their accreditation and then all of that money and time was for absolutely nothing so that is something to look into as well you want to make sure if you go to a private college or university or institution that they have some type of criteria that they hold you to to make sure that their school is going to remain accredited while you're attending their program and be worthwhile in the long run so in the central florida area in orlando i have found three um private colleges and i'm pretty sure there might be a couple more but these are the ones that i would probably recommend the most if you were going to go this route um and that's going to be rasmussen college um herzing university and advent health university so advent health university is um a very popular hospital in the florida 
in the state of Florida, Advent Health is very popular and they have their own university, their own campus in Orlando, Florida. Um, and they offer a nursing program along with other health professions. And it's a very good program. Um, so yeah, I'll get more into that later. I don't want to talk too much about it. And then Herzing, I know it's in other areas. I don't know too much about Herzing, but I know it is an option if you're looking into a private college. And then there's Rasmussen College, which is also all over the United States in different areas. It's very similar to Chamberlain University. If you know what Chamberlain is, then that is basically the same as Rasmussen. Um, so yeah. Now, lastly, we're gonna talk about online nursing programs. And I actually found an online nursing program that is not just for master's programs, not for doctorate, it is to get your BSN. So you're taking your clinicals, you are a full-fledged nursing student, and you're getting your bachelor's of science in nursing online fully. So that school is Western Governors University. So this school um, I found by someone I work with at my job. She's an instructor with uh, WGU. And basically you apply into the program and it's only 15 people per cohort. And throughout the United States, so it's not just in our Central Florida area, but there are five locations in, um, there are five locations in Florida, but there is a couple in the Central Florida area, but it's all over. I know Western Governors is very popular in Texas and California as well. And so basically you pick which like, hub you want to be your home and you apply to that program and they put you in a cohort with about 12 to 15 other students and you do your nursing program completely online so if you're like used to being a homeschooled student or an online student this might be an option for you um, me personally I like to be in person learning and I like to have that face to face with my instructor and my peers so they do give you options to have tutoring with Western Governors University so you can talk to your instructors on webcam but it's not really like a structured classroom feel um, and also uh, the way clinicals work is that you have your schedule for like the next two or three years just laid out in front of you and you know that these three weeks are your clinical weeks and you need to just let your job know ahead of time that these three weeks I have to go do my clinicals and they'll have that all laid out and planned for you so you do get clinicals in Western Governors University you do have labs just like your clinicals they will be planned out on a calendar that you know that these days are your lab and there's different locations in your area that Western Governors partners with to allow you to go and get your lab done with your clinical instructors and those are usually the only times you see your classmates um, are during those times but other than that your schooling is completely online and at your own pace so you, you finishing your program faster or quicker is completely on you um it's definitely something to look into it's a different route but it is an option i definitely considered it but for me personally i don't think it was going to work um Another thing with Western Governors is that it's a competency-based program, so they don't really give you a grade in, in, in any classes. It's just a pass or fail. So with that, your GPA, no matter what, will be a 3.0. And for me, I would like to apply to master's programs, and most of them require a 3.0. And if I can get above that, then that's what I want to be able to show for it. So like I said, if those things are important to you, then that might be the route for you. You get a full autonomy with your education and your learning experience, and you still get the on cam like campus labs and clinical experience that you need in order to become a registered nurse. So, I hope that all just kind of made sense to you guys. Those are the options in the Central Florida Orlando area to anyone that wants to be a nursing student or pursue nursing for your bachelor's or your ASN. Um, I'm briefly going to go down the pass rates of each of the programs and kind of compare them and talk about why that's important. So for UCF, the pass rate from the last three months was 98.4%. For Seminole State, 100% passed and it was 114 students that took the test. And I'm going to tell you why that number is important in a little bit. Valencia, 94.7%. Rasmussen is 83% pass rate. Herzing is 86% pass rate, and Advent Health is 89% pass rate, and Western Governors is 100% pass rate, with seven people who took it. 
So the reason why I gave you the person, like the number of people that took it for those two, because they both were 100% pass rates within the last three months. But the thing that's important is that Seminole State had 114 people who took that exam and Western Governors had seven. So when you're looking at the pass rates, they are very objective. So you need to realize that, yeah, like one school might have a 100% pass rate, but if one person took that test, then how? what is that really telling you? But if 114 people take a test and all of them get 100% on the first try or whatever, that is a really good program and you should really consider going to it. So do what you want with that information uh pass rates are important when looking at schools i wouldn't apply to anywhere with a pass rate under 80 percent i just wouldn't do it personally um so yeah i did apply to some of the schools on this list and that will be for another video as well so if you guys want to follow me on my nursing journey and see what school i will be attending in the spring or january 2021 then hit that subscribe button down below, like this video, and comment some suggestions of what you would like to see. And I will see you all next time for another video. Bye.